Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Buffy here. Today we're gonna do a DIY. Very simple, easy thing to do, it doesn't take very long at all. If you remember my haul from Goodwill, I picked up these candy canes, okay? Well, today we're going to cover them in jute. Now, I did one already just to show you the finished product, and this is what it looks like. And then, of course, we're going to put them together and add some greenery. So, what you'll need is some jute. Now, I picked this up at probably Packetans for around $8. I got a giant spool of it. This is like the medium grade. They come in a thinner or thicker, um, so whatever your preference is. You also need a glue gun, some pine or whatever you would like to decorate with, and a pair of scissors. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the end of our candy cane, and we're just gonna put a dab of glue right around the edge right there just to hold the jute. Now, be careful you don't get burnt and try to get all the way to the end. Okay, just like that. All right, then next, all I did was I started winding that up, kinda keep it close into that hot glue and then we can put some more glue on that and then all I'm doing is just winding it up and then I'll push it down to make it tight so there's no gaps and then I just push it down see how it's nice and tight right through there that's what you want. You don't want loose so you can see the stuff in between. Now, if you wanted to get creative and make it look like a traditional candy cane, you can add the red um, striping on it after you're all done. But I kind of like just the plain jute. It gives it that more rustic feel. So we're gonna go ahead and push that down. And then every once in a while, you wanna take and just put a dab of glue. That way, if you drop it or whatever, you're not starting from the very beginning. So, and just remember that always push it down so it's nice and tight. And then just wind it up. The tricky part now is going around this and you just keep pushing it back. Right. And like you can put any kind of decoration you want on this. You can even do these with the rag um, ribbon, something like that. You don't have to use the jute. We're also gonna make the smaller ones. You can get them at the Dollar Tree, the little small candy canes. I think they come six in a package for a dollar. And you can use those to put on your tree. You can wrap them up and do the same thing. We're gonna use those at work um, for our Christmas tree. I'm gonna go ahead and make those up for um, work. And, uh, And I was thinking about doing a video of the tree at work, too, because I love decorating trees. We are rounding out. And I love how the you can see all the little fringe. I'm sliding it back. And like I said, don't forget every once in a while to put a dab of glue to hold it. So. And you know, you can put these outside the weather nicely. 
with the jute. It holds up nice in the weather. And you can do so much with these. You can actually stick these large ones on the top, towards the top of your tree if you wanted to. I think I'm going to stick mine in a bucket with some other greenery for I just cut that out. <laughs> so we're getting close to being done here. It, it's probably about a half an hour project, depending on how fast you go. And the cat was playing with my jute and of course got it all tangled. So I'm having some struggles here. Gotta love Boxer. For once, he's being quiet and sleeping. All right. So, I was thinking that within the next week, I'm going to put the tree up. I know some of you think that it's really early, but like I've said, I really enjoy putting up the Christmas decorations, and I do a good bit of trees in my house, and it takes me a while because I like to play around and see what other things that I can do. Almost done. All right. Maybe the wider jute would have been a little better, probably would have been a little faster to go because it was wider, but. This is something that I had already. I didn't have to go out and purchase. So we went ahead and used this. And I use this for all kinds of crafts. Just like wrapping the twine around the jars and doing those. No, I've never done those, but I've seen a lot of them, and all right. Now we're coming to the end, and when we get to the end, we're going to put a good bit of glue so it stays. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hot glue again and I'm gonna go kind of wide this time so it stays around that. And then I'm just going to and just tap it down. scissors and cut that off. All right, we'll take the glue gun and we'll just get the tip of it so it doesn't stand up. Just be careful. We all know how you can get burnt on these glue guns. They're hot. Okay. So there's another finished one. So we have both of these done now. And then we're gonna take them like this. And what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna cut another piece All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut another piece of jute. I'm going to put a little glue and just let those lay right there. 
just so they're firm. And I'll probably tie it together just so it stays. And then we can always adjust this on how we want it. All right. Then what I've done is I've taken the three pine. This is from an old tree that I had. And I just stuck them together and then wrapped the piece right around there, as you can see. And you can use um, the wired ribbon or whatnot. And I'm going to put a good bit of glue on that. And we're just going to hold it down until it dries. that to stay and then I have collected some pine cones and what I thought that we could do is maybe put a pine cone on that too I'm just gonna set that down in here All right, guys, and this is the finished product. This is what it looks like. So you got the two candy canes wrapped in the jute with the greenery and the pick with the poinsettia. And then you can just sit these out for a decoration for Christmas. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and tell all of your friends. Till the next one. Bye, guys. This is Boxer. He is uh, very bad, but as you can tell, he is laying in my mom's purse right now, trying to sleep for once. Oh,